In this tutorial, we're going to quickly explore how to upload existing media into the Panopto tool. I'll go ahead and select on my Panopto course tool, and our tool will launch. Once we do that, we are directed into our course location folder. We know that we can navigate these folders as we've learned already in previous videos. Right now, I'm just going to keep this in my instructor sandbox folder. Next, we'll go to the Create tab, and we'll navigate down to where it says Upload Media. This will take audio or video files, and it's quite simple. It's just a drag and drop process. So I'm going to drop a file here, and you'll see that Panopto will automatically identify and do any type of conversion for movie files, whether they're in .mov extensions or if they are in uh, MP4 extensions, they will take audio files such as WAV, MP3, any of the standard file formats that you would expect to use out there, Panopto is um, likely to be able to accept. The files that you won't be able to use are going to be images and things like PowerPoints. This is not the place to upload documents, images, or PowerPoints. This is only for media that is either visually uh, played back or uh, auditory. So while this does its conversion process, the files are actually being copied from my computer and they're being copied into Panopto itself. So we'll let this wrap up here. If I needed to momentarily stop, I could stop this upload by going to this upper um, right hand corner stop button. But we're going to let this finish out here. And this can take a little bit of time depending on the file size or the conversion that actually needs to happen here. So here we go. And once this is done, it says my upload is complete. You can close this window now. Before I do that, you'll notice that the upload portion is just getting the file into um, essentially Panopto server. Okay. So you can see that now the media is uploading and then it does go through a processing stage, which is called uh, essentially transcoding. Um, this is where they get it into their proprietary format. And this will usually take um, a minute or two. This could vary depending on the size of your media. Notice in my case, this was very quick. Um, I could also select my settings here if I needed to on this and I could edit the locations of this. Um, I could change preview images, all of the types of things that we'll be able to do individually with the video itself. Once that's done, you'll see that the video itself is finishing the upload. And again, it's probably not a horrible idea to do a refresh here. You'll see that it's kind of trying to finish out the processing. So I like to do a refresh on this most of the time. I think that that's a worthwhile endeavor. You'll see when this upload was started and as soon as this becomes available um, inside the Blackboard component of this, we'll see that this is uh, completely processed and it should be relatively quick. So we just jumped right there to 78% and then it goes through a processing and publishing step right here. When all of this is completed, this will be available for us. And again, we'll still be able to access the um, various settings here, the sharing. We can always delete a recording. Please do be mindful though that when you delete a recording, um, it is gone, gone at that point. So we definitely don't want um, to take that idea of delete lightly. I suppose is what I'm saying. And if you have a pre-existing video, you also have the ability to edit that pre-existing video. We'll look at editing videos in um, upcoming tutorials, but just want to make you aware of that. And here we are. We'll go ahead and we'll show this. And here is our video clip that we uploaded. And this is what students would see. Notice there's no screen capture of myself. I just uploaded a pre-existing video into the player. Very straightforward. I hope that you found this tutorial useful. For more information, please visit us at the Faculty Center for the Advancement of Teaching and Learning.